Steady three. Stop them. Free me. Again. Again. Make it squeal again. It's staying right here. The beasts came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. But first, three. More stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! I want to hear more noises! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh, you're also... Uh, yes, of course. I want to hear it squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. Good. Now they die. Time for blood. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? 
A true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. There also seems to be no way to remove the parasites without triggering seromorphosis. Any attempt risks turning the victim into a mind flayer. Indeed. After we dealt with the drow that ambushed us, Nettie and I were able to inspect the corpse, and the creature that slithered out of it. I had no idea anyone beyond their ranks was infected. You have my sincere sympathies. No, this is different, altered. But I believe I know where answers can be found. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. I'm as certain as I can be. If you have a better alternative, I won't stop you. I can't stop you, in fact, which brings me to my next problem. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Korga, this is my fault. I was her teacher. I will mourn her when I can. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drowm in Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. There is no safety, not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Be warned, my presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury.
require the Absolute's name, boys!
Goblin priestess bled dry. Smells like burnt Still flesh in here. Still the blade thirsts. Damn it all. Do you have to smash every roach we walk past? I had business with the bastard. <sighs> Just forget it. We push forward, find a cure. We're a team after all, at least till I hear different. Uh, besides, there are ways to make a roach's corpse talk. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. I... You're right. It's time you knew the truth. We're not the only ones the Mind Flayers snatched up. They took her. An old flame of mine, too. Mizora. Goblin called Spike dragged her from her squid pod. <laughs> Roughed her up good. No sign of her ear, though. Near as I've seen. Not the first time the bug has given me tr not the first time the bug has given me trouble. <laughs> We've got I know you want answers, but it's not the time or the place. We'll talk in camp when I'm ready. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Eyeball. My eyeball. I don't know what's worse. That spike kept it, or that I recognized it. regards you lifelessly. Let me speak. I have business with this one. Where in the hells is Mizura? Drow. Drag her off. Oh, Where did they take her? Absolute one, sir. Big plans. Big plans. No. 
nothing but mush. He's all yours, I'm done. Speaks through true souls. Scour the land. Find weapon. Crush, smash, burn, whip, scream. Give pain, get answer. Bruiser chief. Beat drum, slash sword. Flame smoke. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Those ringleaders still draw breath. We must end them. Well met. The drow took Mizora, so we push forward till we find her. If we're lucky, someone can pluck out these brain bugs on the way. Lazelle's people might get it done. Gods know she sounds sure of it. Survival is all that matters. Where can I go? Should get some rest. I need to keep sharp. Yes, it, it should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned when we arrived. Thank you. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. Brian had instructions, but... The, the goblins got him. They... They said they'd eat him. I... I have to go. I have to get out of here.
a little bite. He don't look like he'd mind. Hmm. The rat's nose twitches impatiently. Her teeth bite air as though it is flesh, but it doesn't sate her hunger. Saved! A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> we mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! My desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. More delicious than you. More bindable. More wrappable. More biteable. No. She scuttles toward you, drooling.
those gobbles are talking about me. Let's check it out. Do you smell that? Sulfur. Something's wrong. I feel... I feel... What the... Darkness, protect me. No! I'm fine. Forget it. Though thou dost not fate spins, although thou dost going. We have work to do. Enemies to kill. curious ornate box. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. No time to waste.
moving in. Absolute's name, boys. Cloak and dagger, my favorite. <laughs> 
at a time. <laughs> Go! Actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. Let's get out of this pit, firstly. Return to the Grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Time to press ahead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Squid, sip, 
fugitives needs absolute binds obedience I'll take that Oof! <laughs> 